let's remind ourselves of some of the exponential rules. So if we've got 3 to the 5 multiplied by 3 squared, what's 3 to the 5? It's 3 multiplied by itself 5 times. What's 3 squared? It's 3 times 3. And so what do we have in total here? Well, we've got five threes and another two threes multiplied together. So in total, we've got five plus two, which is seven threes multiplied together. You can, of course, step that se skip that second line where you write everything out if you're very familiar with your exponential rules. But I'm going to do the writing it out just so I remind us of where those exponential rules come from. But you could go straight to saying 3 to the 5 times 3 to the 2 is 3 to the 5 plus 2, which is 3 to the 7. What about 3 to the 5 over 3 to the 2? Again, what is 3 to the 5? What is 3 squared? Now you can see that 2, on, two of the 3s on the bottom cancels with 2 of the 3s on the top. And so what you're left with is, the number of 3s you're left with is 5 minus 2, right? And so what you've got is 3 to the power of 3, which is 27. What about 3 cubed squared? Well, 3 cubed is just 3 times 3 times 3. And we're squaring that, so in other words, we've got to multiply it by itself. And so what do we have in total in terms of the number of 3s multiplied together? Well, we've got two groups of 3 3s, so in total we've got 2 times 3, which is six threes. Now, take have a look at this. That's 27 squared. It's 27 times 27. You work that out, you'll get 729. But you also know that 27 is equal to 3 cubed. So we can replace that 27 by a 3 cubed. So we've got 3 cubed squared. Now we've just seen how we can apply the rules here. And so 3 cubed squared is just the same as 3 to the power of 3 times 2, and that is 3 to the power of 6. And if we put that in our calculator, we'll see the answer is 729. The main thing I wanted us to see here, though, is that we can actually think of 27 squared in different ways. We can think of it as 27 times 27, but we can also think of it as 3 to the power of 6. So being able to rewrite an exponential in different ways is something that we're going to be working at and it's going to be what we need for our exponential equations. Okay, a last few little things on exponents we need reminding of. 3 to the power of 0 is 1 and in fact anything except 0 to the power of 0 is 1. When we have a negative exponent, so 3 to the negative 1, that negative as an exponent just means 1 over. So 3 to the negative 1 is 1 over 3. 3 to the negative 2, the negative means 1 over, so we've got 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 over 9. And then, in fact, if we have 1 over 3 to the negative 2, well, 3 to the negative 2 is going to be 1 over 3 squared, so we've got a fraction over a fraction, etc. That's going to, if we've worked it out, which is what we saw when we did exponents, actually end up to be 3 squared, which is 9. So 1 over 3 to the negative 2, that negative just simply brings it up to the top now, and you'll get 3 squared, which is 9. So these are your exponent rules that I've just given you a reminder of. If you need more of a reminder, you can go back to the section on exponents and look at the videos there and really try and, and get on top of your exponent rules, because you're going to need that to go on to exponential equations.